Hello all, I'm Jessica Sandeep and I will be presenting the paper A Taxonomy for Communication Challenges Faced by Multicultural Teams in Construction Projects. This presentation outlines a brief overview, background and aim of the research followed by literature review from various relevant studies and further explains the research methodology used by qualitatively analyzing 11 multicultural construction case studies and finally the research results and discussions of the findings. In recent years, multicultural project teams have grown extremely popular and working attitudes have shifted drastically with much reliance on multicultural teamwork. Having said that, there are significant challenges in communication with these stakeholders. Although there is an increase in global project management, there is also the lack of industrial cultural applications. And with the rise of many mega projects and expanding markets overseas, the need for more labor is also required. This rise in global economy has influenced how construction project managers operate, exposing them to customers, suppliers and colleagues with whom they've never worked before and may lead to significant obstacles in communication. Construction projects rely heavily on communication and this has pointed out the need to address any potential disagreements and the need for a well-connected communication system between stakeholders. With the demand of multicultural collaboration, there is a growing interest in changing the project delivery system to perform effectively as lasting management teams. Therefore, this research aims to identify the communication challenges faced by multicultural teams in construction projects. There has been a surge in literature in this field. At the national level, there has been a lot of discussion on the influence of culture on the transmission and implementation of management philosophies and international project management. These studies revealed that industries have become more cognizant to the role of culture in project performance outcomes. According to Matheev and Milter, with the rise in global projects, greater demand for training addresses new intercultural competency. The results might increase the effectiveness of organizational development strategies and training methods. Whereas, according to Ocean and Price, communications and multicultural teams can be effective when project managers show their awareness of that particular culture. Trust, communication and empathy in leadership are the most important factors in creating effective cross-cultural communication. Furthermore, Tenzer, Pudelko and Selmer have studied language barriers in multicultural teams. They have identified two kinds of language barriers, which are evident and hidden, that could negatively affect their participation and communication. Their findings further show how these problems affect various activities. The following research emphasizes that misunderstanding, humiliation, disagreements and even missed business prospects may be caused by simple and often unexpected words and behaviors. There is definitely a relationship between shared knowledge within a multicultural project on the one hand and communication and coordination on the other. The research method used was case study to easily grasp and understand the challenges using secondary data analysis and thematic analysis. Data was collected from 11 construction case studies from non-academic sources such as blogs, news articles and project websites to gain insights from every angle. The taxonomy of the findings is represented in the form of a framework with all the codes organized under their respective themes. A total of 31 codes were identified and were sorted into seven themes. The findings identified were the first one being cultural relativism, which means a superiority complex of one's own culture. This is an unconscious bias and attitude that develops based on their cultural experience. Under this category, we have challenges such as inequity, domination of one culture, irresponsibility to labor's family in case of accidents, lack of respect for other cultures, and the use of threatening languages. 
The second one is the lack of moral and ethical roadmap where the employee performance decreases due to the lack of proper ethics. An unethical leader risks losing the respect of his staff and might escalate a lot of problems, decreasing the employee's trust. Every challenge analyzed under this demonstrates a lack of strong moral and ethical principles. The third finding is unconstructive conflict, which does not welcome opposing views and perspectives to advance the organization or the project towards its goals. The challenges categorized under this depicts the breakdown and uncontrolled interactions between the multicultural teams, which resulted in the problems observed later into the project. Then we have cross-cultural language barriers. This is when employees or clients from various cultures interact. Their attitudes, beliefs and experiences can create communication difficulties. All challenges encoded in this category had everything to do with communication barriers that multicultural teams had to cope with while working on the project, which resulted in numerous complications. There is a power imbalance when one stakeholder or a group of stakeholders may dominate decision making or otherwise exercise authority in ways that disadvantages other partners. These challenges represent the authorities' exercise of power inside the project and the decisions they made that resulted in the cultural challenges that followed. The next one is non-verbal communication. This is essential in how we convey meaning and information to others, as well as how we interpret the behaviors of others. What a person says is coupled with their emotions, body language, and tone of voice, which may indicate a great deal about what that person is intending to express. These challenges are linked to the indirect communication challenges encountered by multicultural teams when leaders' actions speak louder than words. Finally, we have cultural perception, where culture is concerned with how people live, interact and connect with others, whereas perception is how an individual perceives the world. As each culture has its own way of doing things and different beliefs and values, the challenges that arise from this topic are contrasting cultural management approaches, lack of flexible coordination, intercultural conflicts, lack of cultural sensitivity and leadership, differences in beliefs and conflicting interests. The research findings show that cultural diversity has significant implications including increased stress, misunderstanding, miscommunications, irritation and confrontation among employees which translates to poor morale, conflicts, attitudes and productivity. Communication has long been regarded as the heart of project management. Therefore, the implications of the findings are suggested for project managers, construction managers, and organizational leaders. Project managers need soft skills to gain knowledge in communicating in a cultural context. Communication must be prompt, carefully conveyed, and controlled. Cultural and personal differences might cause misunderstandings if they are not addressed among the team members. This can be done by adopting a workplace culture with respect to every culture involved in the project. An awareness of what the team expects is also important, giving them a platform to voice their concerns and giving them the needed motivation. Managing directors and other organizational executives must consider how their leadership skills can be transferred into a global leadership style as they have an unrealistic expectation that if they are successful in their home country, the same can be applied to another. Finally, the need for prioritizing inclusive leadership leading to flexibility, adaptability and transparency is suggested. That brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time.